Well, hey YouTube, welcome back once again to Photoshop Elements TV. Now, in today's edition of Photoshop Elements TV, as the title gave it away, I'm going to show you the proper way to import pictures into your organizer, and then we're going to also create an album for those pictures. Organization is one of the key elements you can have with Photoshop or Photoshop Elements to be able to find those memories when you would like to find those. So we're going to start here. We are in the organizer. This is Photoshop Elements 2022. And we're going to simply click on File. And we're going to go from Camera or Card Reader. Now I do use a card reader, and I found that's the easiest way to actually, um, you know, import your pictures without having to connect your camera to your computer all the time. Let's select the device. Uh, this device, actually, the disk is untitled. Now we can see here on the standard importer where we have uh, create subfolders. We, we are going to do that. So if you click on choose, I keep all my photos under my pictures folder. And then I title the folder based on where we were, or what we were doing. Um, so this was in uh, Pittsburgh, PA. Pittsburgh, and um, this was actually um, at a greenhouse, Pittsburgh greenhouse, and uh, maybe I'll put the date to remind me when it was, okay, 2022, oh, <laughs> 2021, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here, so 2021, create, all right, click on open. Now, we don't want another subfolder, so we're going to click this and select None. Okay. Now, you can also do this by simply going here. If we were in um, if we were in here in our Pictures folder, right, we could have been in Pictures, and we could have selected here Custom Name, and we could have chose Pittsburgh here. Okay, so you can also do it that way. Pittsburgh. Uh, greenhouse 2021 okay you can also choose it here and it will create that folder for you renaming pictures is totally up to you you could do it by date by short date uh, custom name I normally do not rename the uh, the files so the files will come in exactly the way they are delete options after copying verify and delete originals I do not do this. I do after copy and do not delete originals. All right. Let's check now at the custom or advanced dialog box here on the bottom. With the advanced dialog box, it's going to give us more options. And we can see those options here. We can see what's selected. We can hit uncheck if you only have certain photos on your memory card you want to uh, import. Let's see what we do have on here. That looks like everything on there we want. So that's good. Here's that custom name we selected on the standard uh, dialog box. But if you look down here, advanced options, automatically fix red eyes. Uncheck that. If you leave that selected, what's going to happen? It looks at every, it examines every photo as it's coming in for red eyes, okay, for something in the eyes. Automatically suggest photo stacks. I don't want to do that either. I want to select my own photo stacks. Automatically stack RAW and JPEG. I don't want to do that because these photos were shot in RAW. You can always see here after copy and do not delete. And there's metadata. Okay, metadata is something that it's, it gets written into the, the photo file. So here we're going to write uh, Photoshop Elements TV. And we're going to just copy this. If I hit Control C or Command C, we can copy that and paste it. Once you have all that done, just simply click on Get Media. All right. As you see, it's going to import all those photos right into the organizer. Again, taking a little time uh, in the beginning with your organizer makes it so much better. Uh, later when you're looking for photos and trying to dig around for uh, different photos on the computer. 
All right, once we have all these imported, what we want to do is select the first one, hold your control, hold your shift key down, I'm sorry, and select that last one. Now what you're going to do is put these into a new album. So if you come over to albums, and you can go to any one of these uh, sub albums here, but we're going to go to albums. And we're simply going to click on new album. And uh, computer here is uh, giving me a fit this morning, but we're going to uh, get this going here. All right. When you do that, you'll see that the new album already contains all the photographs in here. Now, if you create a new album on your own, you have to drag the pictures in. But why do that when, you know, Photoshop Elements is doing everything for us? Give the album a name. We're going to do the same thing. Pittsburgh Greenhouse 2021 we can put it in the top level family holiday kids I'll put it under kids because that was with my grandson and look in here and all the photos are listed in there so that's good now you simply click on OK You see where we get all the uh, the green check marks with that they were selected. And now if we look over here on the left, you'll see where if I'm in, uh, let's see, Pittsburgh Lights. Okay, that's Pittsburgh Lights. But look, now I can go down and click on my Pittsburgh Greenhouse 2021. And I have all of those photos in there ready to be uh, edited. And we will do some editing here uh, on a next couple of videos to show you how those uh, look and, and what we can do with the photos. So, like I said, I wanted to start you out here in the organizer to get you accustomed to organizing your photos first. And we'll talk more about organization, I think, in some upcoming videos. And the, each one will help you along the way. So I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial of importing your photos from your uh, card reader and creating a album to get you started thank you so much for watching these videos and i hope you click the subscribe button to stick with me here and learn along the way with photoshop elements remember until next time keep keep those shutters clicking keep your editors editing and i'll see you back here next time thanks for watching and bye for now